hey guys and welcome back to another episode of Gaming with the Goons. We're going to carry straight on with our Sparrow Reignited playthrough in the Magic Crafters homeworld. So first things first, we're going to try and catch this thief. Who as you can see is rather quick. Um, I, I say this every time, the thieves are so much faster in this game. We're just going to loop back a little bit and try and encourage him down. Oh no, or maybe not, he's just going to taunt us. So we'll come back to him later I think. So, Magic Crafters, actually it's quite a cool design of the world I guess, um, it's all kind of themed around magicians and magic, and you can see here there's lots of druids and you know, wizards of all sorts, so let's free the first dragon and we'll continue on. Welcome to Magic Crafters! I want you to release the dragons, reclaim our treasure, and recover the eggs from those pesky blue thieves. And as we fall, well, no, fall well, and that's easier said than done. Oh, it got me. So the swing of a mace, he caught me around the side of the chops. Right, let's get him back. Return the favour, as it were. Um, so yeah, Magic Craft is, is different, it's, it's more alpine themed I guess. Again a big departure from the Peacekeeper's home mode which is more desert like. Um, I do like... Oh, we got me again then. Sorry though, I do like the character... Oh no, three times in a row. I'm not doing very well, clearly. <laughs> so yeah, what I was trying to say was... I, I do like that every world in Spyro has a unique kind of character feel. Um, yeah, I do like this one. I do. Right, he's only doing a loop, so it should be, should be easy to catch. Famous last words there. Oh, there you go. Right, let's get some sheep before I die. Because that wouldn't be very good, would it? Are they sheep? They've got rather big ears. Oh, horns. Big ears. What am I saying? <laughs> right then. Let's go loop around by Alpine Ridge. We'll get the treasure here. Um, same as before, we're just going to complete the home world as normal. Uh, clear that to 100%. Um, once that's done, we'll move on to the first Magic Crafters world. Which I think will be Alpine Ridge. We just passed that one. Okay. So this guy, or the three guys here, when I charge close, he's going to put up a wall, just like that. Oh, tactical retreat. Um, the way around that, that's probably the first time you've seen this, is to use a supercharge. But this dragon will tell us more about this one. When you see arrows like these, you can charge along with them to begin a supercharge. Supercharge? Excellent! Go ahead, try it. That was quite cool, he's like, like the gambit of the Dragon World, playing with his cards. <laughs> right, so first things first, we're going to clear these three enemies, just to make our lives a little bit easier. And Supercharge does exactly what it says in the tin, just makes Spyro charge a lot faster. And there's a lot of levels coming up, especially in this world and the next, uh, Beast Makers, where Supercharge forms a big element of each level. But first things first, we're just going to glide around to the secret cave. And it's a chest. So we'll come back to that a little bit later when we find the key. Apologies, I thought the key was in the cave and the chest was later on, but I suppose we'll come back to that. Let's grab some last chest. Now, Jack, continue through this cave where the druid was blocking earlier. Got one more magician. And one more dragon. This portal leads to a special place where you can learn to fly. I remember when I was a young dragon, earning my wings. Learn to fly. Got it. I think it's a bit of the old dragon, old age kick kicking in there. Um, we've definitely learned to fly a few times before that, but... Actually, Crystal Flight is one of the hardest ones in the game, actually. The hardest fight level. 
Um, okay, okay, so this is an armor chest, we can't break this normally. Uh, we're gonna have to make use of that supercharge that we saw in this bed on. Let's clear these guys first, make our trip a little bit easier. Yeah, the druids, for what they look like, um, they don't actually harm Spyro, they just kind of get in your way and move blocks. So again, ooh, that's close. It's those guys with little green hats that you need to worry about. Because they're rather tricksy with their electricity. But anyway, there's the key. The key that I thought was in the cave earlier. We will return to the cave in just a little bit uh, to get the chest. To get that locked. Got two more wizards. I think they're the last two enemies now. Ah, got both. We've got Bond Flame then. Um, brilliant. So, just kill this guy first. Um, actually, I think we'll go back and get the key, the key chest first. I think that's a little bit easier. Um, there's a high chance I might miss the supercharge charge, and um, because I've missed the chest after repeats it, so that's no good for anyone, really. Yeah, so back to our secret cave. Let's open up the chest. As I say, I don't expect to do this first time, but there's a first for everything, and we shall give it a good go. So run for the cave, take a leap, take a left and right, and straight to the chest. Look at that skill. 300, 300, and first time. I'm impressed. <laughs> so, we'll see you back in a few moments. We'll all join you at the first Magic Crafters level. See you in a bit. Hello again, and we're about to start Alpine Ridge, which is the first uh, Magic Crafters level we're going to play through. Um, I forgot to mention earlier but I did catch that thief we missed at the beginning of the level. Uh, yeah, I totally forgot to go back and get that one. But he's toast now so that's a good thing. That was another really high glide. He did that in Cliff Town too. Maybe just taking in the scenery, perhaps. Who knows? But anyway, here is Alpine Ridge. Um, again, rather creepy. These big yellow monsters. Um, embarrassed to say, used to kind of scare me as a kid. <laughs> um, they look kind of cute now, I guess. Oh no, just flamed it then when I should charge. But yeah, I'm not sure what they're meant to be. Maybe bears. Maybe. Yellow Snorlaxes belly flopping me, who knows. But yeah, much of the same uh, mechanics as Magic Crafters Homeworld. There are magicians and druids who will mess up your day basically by moving blocks, moving stairs. As you can see here. I think I get these gems first and then try and time it properly. Because the last thing I want is to slide back down this, this cliff. Oh, just like that. Okay. So, yeah, Alpine Ridge, it's a bit of a weird one. There's a few tricky bits in this, I guess. Quite a few long glides, um, which, as you have seen before, I'm not very good at in this game. afraid of those big, noisy, gigantic, awful beasts, are you? Of course not! Oh, good. I didn't think so. We won't mention what I said earlier, that's for sure. <laughs> okay, so... We have two options here. We can glide over here, first of all. Or glide to the main platform. I will go this way. Only because I can loop back around on myself. Oh. So those wizards, the big blue ones, they throw snowballs at you. And they're quite quick so you have to be really, really careful. Let's get that sheep. Oh, got me. Oh, we're pushing back quite far then. I'll have to watch out for that in the future because 
It may not be off the ledge. Uh, okay, there's a butterfly over there. Let's grab that first. Always best to have a little bit of health than nothing at all. Okay, so the next step is again a not particularly easy jump. These druids are very passive aggressive. They won't kill you direct, but they will kill you through mischief and wind mechanics, just like you saw. I think that's that bit done, so yeah. Glide over to the big yellow monster again. Let's give him a good flame. Actually, that was lucky. I just got an extra life then. And puts me back up to full health, which is always a bonus. Okay, let's try not to fire this one as well. Okay, so they're the two bits I was a bit worried about, so I thought I was going to die on those. The next bit is just these three platforms here, you see. But we'll come back to that in a little bit. Um, I think what makes them tricky is that there are firework boxes on top, so you have to quickly jump on, jump off. For you get blasted off. So, lots to think about. Multitasking and all that. Thank you for releasing me. I like his alchemy colour changing horns there. They look kind of like test tubes. Bio organic weirdness. Oh, just missed something. Nearly caught me. Actually, for slow moving enemies, they're quite quick at attacking. It surprises me. Okay, I thought he was going to jump on top of that yellow monster then. But we'll get there first. Okay, I think that's the den clears. Just a little side detour before the next section. Let's go that druid. And we'll, we'll get this guy while we can. Again, just saves a little trip later on. Okay, there's a one last dragon. Spyro, if you keep this up, you'll learn all the tricks of the magic crafter's world. He had crystal wings there as well. That's pretty cool. Okay, so there's the start of the level. That's how you get back to the beginning. You kind of have to glide, glide round and do another loop. And um, I think we're okay for that. So we're just going to head down to this tunnel here. Which I believe there is another thief. Oh, maybe not. My memory fails me. Well, they jump quite quick as well. So, yeah, just like I was saying earlier, you do need to be careful with those boxes because if you stand too close, you do get an Aussie whack. Uh, the explosion does catch us, does catch Sparrow, rather. I know where we're going. So, if we just go back to this outcrop that I was standing on. We'll go to the tunnel first. Let's see how we get from there. Okay, there's a few fast talking about there. I knew it was in one tunnel. <laughs> Remember that these blue thieves have stolen eggs outside the Magic Crafters world as well. Don't worry, I'll take care of them. So, the dragon gives a handy checkpoint, which we may need. We'll just have to... be quick for that one. There you go. I was a bit worried then, I might, might have got busted off. But good job we didn't. Okay, let's do a sweep, catch the lost gems, and sadly get that thief. 
I'll come back to the gyms in a bit, don't worry. It pains me as much as it pains you to miss them. <laughs> but the thief is more urgent at this, this moment of time. And the fact I'm not very good at catching thieves. <laughs> I think the game could have been mean here and stuck a supercharged ramp, I guess, here. I should have to go through this at full back, or full belt, even. Recipe for disaster. Actually, it looks like I'm just going to get the gems on the way through anyway. Be a bit sneaky. Got him. Oh my goodness. Cool. They just don't let up, do they? I always wonder though what the the benefit of having a dragon egg is. It must be magical. Or taste good. Who knows? But anyways, that is our last gem of the level. And we're just gonna head straight on home now. So thankfully Alpine Ridge didn't cause us too many problems. Um, yeah, I was a little bit worried at first because I, I know there are a few jumps that I struggled in the past with. But we've done alright this time. So let's go back home. So thanks for sticking by for Alpine Ridge, I'll see you back in a few moments at the next Magic Crafters level. Welcome back as we continue with Sparrow playing Wizard Peak. Okay, so this is probably actually one of my favourite levels in the game. Um, Great soundtrack, great you know, design, great enemies. Uh, yeah, there's a lot of things I really, really, really like about this level. Uh, however, we're not going to go this way first. We're going to go against the game, or what the game tells us, and take a, a backwards route. So we're just going to glide over here first. We're going to follow the mountain trail up to the main part of the level. So sometimes going you know, the obvious way isn't the answer. I think Spy, especially later on in the game, it kind of teaches you that. So yeah, we're just like continue, continue, continue as normal, rather, up to the Mountain Pass. Just collecting all the gems on the way. And make a big jump to this ledge. It does make me wonder though, how these sheep got up here. It's not the easiest place to get to. There was a little you had to fall off, I wasn't quite sure which one. So anyway, by taking this path first, we actually reach the high platforms that the wizards hide up. Um, and you need to get them to get all, all the gems in the level. Um, they're the ones that cast these big ice trolls, I guess. But anyway, doing it this way isn't a bad idea. So it just kind of saves you a bit of, a bit of hassle later on. We might have to return back up top, I will see in a few moments. I think I might miss the glide by accident. I think I did to be honest. See so yeah, it back around the mountain trail. Thankfully it's not too far to go. And we should be able to get the last few balconies with the ice wizards. Probably 9 times out of 10, if you play this level, they will be the last part, parts you're missing, basically. Okay, so I think I'm going to go this way first. Oh, but she got away. A bit of a blind, blind guide? Ah, oh, there you go. That's one. I 
think that was it in terms of bad news. Actually, let's get this close first because they're going to zap me. No shot for a people sparring. Don't want any of that. Okay, so we're going to backtrack ever so slightly. We're just going to get this last image that we missed on the way through. Or you would have seen on the way through. Ah, right here then. Them hit first. Be patient. Cool, so yeah, that's where we started. We're gonna continue the level as normal now. I think that's the last of the secret edges to hit. Just do a quick sweep for any gems I might have missed, which I don't think there is. That's good. Welcome to Wizard Peak. This is my favorite supercharged spot. Use it to bash those wizards! He even had a cool one then. Maybe he's been to Hogwarts. Who knows? Right, so we kind of touched on this in the Magic Crafters homeworld. But there, well, especially at this point in the game going forwards, um, a lot of levels introduced the super supercharge mechanic. Uh, which on the face of it isn't too difficult, but it gives rise to a, a few difficult situations, I guess. Um, one is well, one such one is here. We need to use a supercharged jump to jump over this gap, which is obviously easier said than done. Um, we'll clear the enemies, so clear the area of enemies first. And hopefully, give it a good go. Actually, what we might do, we'll grab the dragon first, give ourselves a checkpoint. Spyro, thank you for releasing me. And he's definitely a Ravenclaw. There must be some serious Harry Potter Easter eggs in this level. <laughs> Unintentional or not, who knows. Okay, so this is quite a big jump. You need to charge down a few supercharged ramps to get the momentum. Right, you saw there, Spyro's flame turned purple. Oh no, I've missed it. I thought it was going to happen. Okay, so we've made it safely this time around. I think I jumped off the wrong ramp to find it. Because normally the smoke that comes out of Spyro's legs uh, gives an indication of how fast he's going. And also the, the more purple the smoke, the faster he goes. And you need that to get to the highest jumps. Actually, I thought he'd run then. He kind of stood there and took like a man. And felt his death while doing, doing so. <laughs> Okay, try, trying to think the best way back. I think it's down here. If I don't miss this one either. Right, I feel what we'll do. We'll clear this area of enemies first of all. Let me hit first. And we'll, we'll go to the return home portal first of all. We'll kind of sweep this area. Um, you might have seen there's a chest over here, which is armors. We need to use the supercharge to grab that one. I will show you that shortly. And there is a path this way which takes us to a few more items which have to supercharge D. But again, I'll come to it in a bit. I think the trick for those guys is just to wait a little bit. Take your time, have a bit of patience, let them make the first hit. I think if you go too too fast, you get a nasty bump in the head. Ah, oh, another one. Actually, I'm almost glad that these thieves don't run this level. Accept their fate. They know what's coming. No resistance. Okay, so... Oh, that's close. Last few bits, let's get this last wizard. And the last dragon. Listen carefully, Spyro. There's a secret area in the artisan's home world near the waterfall. Try jumping on the stones there. Artisan's Homeworld, Waterfall. Sounds good. So you see, we've already done that level. Because Google told us that. Not a dragon. 
back in the day, that's the only way you could find out how to unlock that Sunny Flight level. So yeah, a little, little bonus, bonus there for you. Okay, so last few bits of level now, we're trying to get this Ramp Festival, we'll carry on going and we'll make a big jump over here. And we'll be the first time this time, which is always nice. See, again, I, I just don't know how these sheep get up here. I know goats can climb trees and all that, but can they glide? Probably not. But this is fantasy. This is Spyro. The sheep with big ears or big horns. As I said, they can do what they want. Right, I don't like being this close to the edge so I'm going to charge it inwards so I don't fall off. And same for this one. Should be the last gem, I hope. Oh, maybe oh no, that's right, the best one's in the tunnel. I was thinking of. Oh, missing a few gems there. So, I hope this is the last one. Amazing. So, yeah, again, I'm surprised we went through that level fairly painlessly. Um, Wizard Peak isn't it's the easiest for those supercharged jumps. But, yeah, one fail is better than two, or three, or six. <laughs> Yeah. We're just about to make our way home in that case. Right, let's get this guy first before we get this sap. I think we're safe. Good old sorting hat. But anyway, thanks for joining me for another episode of Spyro Reignited. Um, I hope you've enjoyed as much as I've had playing. Um, yeah, so please join me for the next episode where we finish up the Magic Crafters homeworld. Um, don't forget to check out our Facebook pages and Twitter. Um, leave a like, comment below, and subscribe to the channel. Hopefully see you soon.